Good morning, State Line. Thanks for joining us on the roller coaster this morning, the first Warren roller coaster. And we've been seeing roller coaster ride temperatures over the last few weeks, and that's continuing into the next few days as well. Yesterday we topped out in the low 80s. Again, low 80s today, but with the humidity, it'll make it feel even warmer out there. But then, as we get into late portions of the week, a different story. So let's turn around and let's ride the roller coaster. We're going to hold steady today in the low 80s, right around 81, 82 degrees today. Humidity making it feel even warmer. But as we go over the next few days, whoa! Hey, wait, what? What? Wait, what? Hey, this is my roller coaster ride. Yeah, you didn't like my roller coaster ride? I'm sorry, Jay. I feel like you now. I'm sorry. I stole your chair. But we're looking at temperatures falling down well below average into the mid 60s is where we should be. But we'll be down in the upper 40s, low 50s by the end of the work week with overnight lows in the mid 30s. Definitely going to want to bundle up out there and bring in any plants, especially Thursday night and Friday night, potential frost and freeze in the forecast. But what is in for the forecast today? A flash flood watch throughout much of the viewing area tonight and into Wednesday afternoon for, yes, you guessed it, more rain. Another warm and humid day today, like we mentioned, and then a cool down as we go into late week. Take a look at this sunny sky here on our Mercy Health Sky Cam overlooking the Poplar Grove Airport. Just a few passing clouds out there. Otherwise, sunny skies to start off your Tuesday, and then increasing clouds later on as we bring in some rain back into the forecast. A mix of sun and clouds right now. Temperature is 67 degrees, a southerly wind at 10 miles an hour. That wind will pick up throughout the afternoon hours and going into the overnight tonight before becoming really windy tomorrow as well. Dew points already into the low and mid 60s. Definitely a muggy start, and that will be the story throughout the afternoon as well. Starting off the day in the upper 60s and low 70s throughout portions of the area. We won't warm it up too much more. We'll top out in the low 80s this afternoon, well above where we should be. Our average should be in the mid 60s. Dew points already into the low and mid 60s. We'll keep them there throughout the afternoon hours. That's a measure of how much moisture is in the atmosphere. So you're definitely going to feel the stickiness as you walk out the door today. Satellite and radar, a few passing clouds on satellite and radar this morning. Otherwise, partly sunny skies, more clouds and rain off to our west. This will slowly make its way into our neck of the woods. Can't rule out isolated shower, rumble of thunder this afternoon under increasing clouds turning mostly cloudy. Better chance though as we go throughout the overnight hours tonight and into your Wednesday. Because of the chance for more rain in the forecast, and we've already seen well over our average for the month of October, flash flood watches in effect for portions of the viewing area there in the dark green color, but still a flood warning for the Pecatonica and Rock River. So keep an eye on river levels. We're already seeing quite a bit of flooding throughout the area. As much of the area is at moderate flood stage, more rain expected into the forecast and even the Pecatonica River at Sherlin at major flood status. So a lot more rain over the next few days before we slowly start to dry it out. Speaking of a lot of rainfall, the Gulf Coast is going to have to keep an eye out. We have Hurricane Michael making its way towards the Florida Panhandle. Tropical storm warnings and hurricane warnings all along the Gulf Coast from Florida through Mississippi and then portions of uh, Alabama and Louisiana's coast as this storm is going to make its way towards the Gulf Coast quickly, moving at 12 miles an hour to the north northeast. Now, taking a look at our infrared satellite here, you can see it's actually starting to strengthen. You can see an eye forming there at the last few frames. The eye is forming, and that's indicating that it's strengthening. Already a category two, just increased to a category two the last time the hurricane hunters went out there this morning with winds right around 100 miles an hour. It'll quickly race up to the Gulf Coast, make landfall as a major hurricane, Category 3, with winds right around 120 miles an hour. Somewhere in between Panama City and Apalachicola looks to be the landfall anticipation for Michael as it makes its way up. And then it's going to dump a lot of heavy rain quickly over portions of the Carolinas where they definitely do not need any more rain. Florence already dumped quite a lot of rainfall there the last few days, the last few weeks, that is, a few weeks ago, and more rain expected as Michael makes its way quickly off and back out to sea. The front, though, that's making its way through our neck of the woods is going to push that back out to sea. That's what's going to help keep it suppressed right along the coast and then back out to sea. Here locally, let's map it out with Futurecast. Increasing clouds, partly cloudy to start off the day. An isolated shower can't be ruled out throughout the afternoon hours under increased clouds turning mostly cloudy. Better chance, though, as we go into the overnight hours tonight for showers and a few rumbles of thunder making their way into the area. And that'll be the story as we go into the morning hours tomorrow. Stopping the time clock at 10 o'clock, you can see showers and storms throughout the area. 
We'll continue to see more showers and storms throughout your Wednesday before we clear it out by early Thursday. You can already see decreasing clouds turning partly sunny throughout the viewing area for your Thursday. Definitely what we need, some dry weather. But because of the storm's potential tonight and into the day tomorrow, much of the area under the marginal risk, but portions of the western viewing area under slight risk for some strong storms throughout the evening today and going into early portions of your Wednesday. So let's take a look at your forecast for today. 81 degrees, increased clouds, chance for a shower late in the day. Otherwise, dry conditions throughout much of the afternoon hours. Tonight, a mild 66, mostly cloudy showers and storms, especially after midnight. Winds out of the south, 10 to 15, but they will pick up tomorrow. Gust upwards of 30 miles an hour with showers and storms likely. Already starting to see that downward trend. 74 tomorrow, still above average. Below average temperatures have reappear here in the seven-day forecast. 53 Thursday, windy though still, partly sunny skies. Dry conditions continue into your Friday, upper 40s. Mid 50s by the time we get to Saturday. Can't rule out the chance of some showers late in the day Saturday and into your day Sunday, but I think much of the day Saturday should remain dry. Still below average going into Saturday. Some rain chance comes back into the forecast on Sunday and Monday with highs still in the low and mid 50s. Bundle up and hold yeah. on tight, Jay. I got you my get, chair back. You got your chair back. Uh, it's nice happy and toasty. Now? I'm very happy. <laughs> It's 846 coming up next on Eyewitness News. More local in the morning. Morning. The Brewers take <laughs> on the, yeah. the Brewers take on the reigning champs, the Dodgers, for the National League title. Sports director Scott Weber recaps that and more coming up next in sports.